Welcome back everyone. This is your Blue Devil News. I'm Eli. Students, please remember that the bank is only open during lunch. You can pay with cash or check at the bank for things like prom, senior fee, leather t-shirts, senior yard signs, or parking passes. Prom tickets have increased to $50. Also, if you're bringing someone to prom that does not attend LHS, you must complete the appropriate paperwork that is available outside the bank. Graduation will be held on May 22nd here on the football field at 10 a.m and each senior is allowed eight tickets. As long as we are able to maintain a traditional school schedule, we plan to have one ceremony for the entire senior class. Also, if you are not paid the $75 graduation fee, please do so immediately. There are several scholarships due and guidance has communicated this through our mind. The Chamber of Commerce has six local scholarships due April 9th. The Pepsi Cola Scholarship application is due April 16th. This scholarship will be awarded to an LHS senior. Widener Memorial Scholarship is a new scholarship for an LHS athlete for $1,500. This is a one-time simple essay which is due April 15th. Leatherman Breakfast Rotary Scholarship for a Cumberland Bound student is due May 5th. This is an excellent opportunity as it rewards $2,000 per year on top of a TN Promise Fund. Don't miss out on free money for college. If you have any questions, see guidance or find the link by going to LHS homepage and selecting counseling. Today is National Gold Star Spouse Day. Now you're probably wondering what that is. Gold Star Spouse Day honors the surviving loved ones of military service members who are killed in the line of duty. The day offers remembrance for the spouses and their families and a time of recognition of their sacrifices. Here is Brook Army Medical Center's General Shan Bagby with more. It's been called an honor no one wants. The gold star that is bestowed upon you when you've lost a loved one in military service. The gold star that all of you humbly and gracefully adorn yourselves with. You all know the pain and sacrifice that it represents. But it represents so much more. It signifies your pride in your loved one's sacrifice in service to our nation. It honors their legacy. When you display your gold star, you honor them and ensure their memory lives on. The gold star as a symbol for those who made the ultimate sacrifice dates back to 1918. In the midst of World War I, families would place a gold star over the blue star service flag in their window to indicate that a loved one had been killed. This tradition continued through World War II, and in 1947, Congress approved the design and distribution of the gold star lapel button, which identifies surviving family members of those who have been killed. The advent of the Gold Star Spouses Day is due to the tremendous work of the Gold Star Wives of America, the Gold Star Wives of America works diligently to ensure that the needs, concerns, and welfare of surviving spouses and dependent children are met. The organization was founded on April 5, 1945, when four young widows met in the apartment of Marie Jordan in New York City. When the organization was chartered as a nonprofit in New York in 1945, among the 15 signatories was Eleanor Roosevelt, who had joined the Gold Star Wives upon the death of her husband, President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Gold Star Wives Day was first celebrated on December 18, 2010. Every year since 2013, the Senate has passed a resolution naming April 5th as Gold Star Wives Day and honoring the contributions of the Gold Star Wives of America. Commonly called Gold Star Wives Day, it's important to emphasize that the day is inclusive and honors the sacrifices that both husbands and wives have had to make. To better represent the inclusive nature of the day, some have started to refer to it as Gold Star Spouses Day. This day commemorates your ultimate sacrifice as husbands and wives of service members. I am in awe of your resilience and strength. None of us in uniform serves alone. Our families are the ones who maintain the home front, are there for us when we return from the deployment, or just from a long day, and carry on when one of us makes that ultimate sacrifice. I know I speak for our military leaders when I say we know how important our spouses are in supporting our service members and warfighters, and will continue to support you as you've supported us. That is our vow to you. As Gold Star spouses, you will always be a part of the military community. Today, we honor you and thank you, even though thank you will never be enough. One team, one purpose. If you're interested in joining the Color Guard during the fall marching season and missed the last week's meeting, 
you can still come to tryouts. They'll be held. They'll be held this Friday from 3:30 to 6 p.m. in the band room. If if you have any questions, please see Mr. Schnell or Mr. Amos. Yearbooks are still on sale for $90. Pre-orders have ended, so we're currently selling remaining stock and do not anticipate on having extras. We sold out last year and expect to do the same this year. Orders can be placed on using school cash or on yearbookforever.com. Students, you must have a parking pass to park on campus. If you do not have one, there are, there are applications outside the bank and you may purchase one during lunch. If you have lost your parking pass, replacement passes are $5 and also available at the bank during lunch. Please make sure your tag is properly displayed and visible and be sure you're coordinated. <laughs> if you have lost your pass, replacement pass are $5 and also available at the bank during lunch. Please make sure your tag is properly displayed and visible and be sure you're in the correct spot that coordinates with your tag. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Eli, and this has been news to you from the white and blue.